<laughs> Mesdames, Messieurs, bonjour. I am honored to be here today, and I would like to thank the Open World Forum Board and Committee for this opportunity. Um, today, I will talk about the importance of open data and collaboration and the advantages of open source software. Now, I'm from TriMet in Portland, Oregon, and we're a municipal um, corporation that provides public transportation for the three-county um, metropolitan area. I would like to begin by sharing with you a personal experience, an example of a public and private collaboration to demonstrate its potential and the importance of exploring these opportunities. Um, while traveling, I became increasingly frustrated with the difficulties in accessing um, transit information in cities that I wasn't very familiar with. So I decided the original idea was it should be just as easy to get transit directions as it is to get driving directions from anywhere in the world. So in 2005, I reached out to several companies, and with persistence, um, I found a gentleman by the name of Chris Harrelson at Google who had um, the same idea in mind. So we began to work um, with Google, and six months later, it went very quickly, Google Transit was launched for the first time in Portland, Oregon, with TriMet data. Um, today, Google Transit um, has launched in over 500 cities worldwide, offering detailed transit information and instructions in addition to driving directions on Google Maps. So this is very beneficial, especially to um, travelers. Now, I believe that there are two important ingredients that made this project so successful. The first was the development of an open standard for transit data, which enabled wide adoption, and then also a business incentive for transit agencies to export their data in this open standard. Um, this encouraged the adoption. This open standard is referred to as the General Transit Feedback, or GTFS. Because agencies make GTFS freely available as open data, it now supports hundreds of applications worldwide, not just Google Transit. And last year, TriMet and several other agencies worked with Google on a new um, open specification for real-time transit data, not just scheduled. And this information is also very beneficial to our customers and wide adoption is growing also. Um, this leads to the importance of open data. TriMet has greatly benefited from making its data openly available um, to the public. At developer.trimet.org, we offer data and resources to software developers to promote the use of transit and information related to transit. We have found that it's important, though, to make access to the data for the developers as easy as possible. Collaborating with this community of software developers has resulted in 50 very useful and popular transit applications for our customers. They have all been developed by third parties, and this is something that TriMet IT does not really have the resources to support. Our core business is not software development, but by making our data open, we are leveraging external resources bringing benefits to the public to encourage innovation and give all the developers equal opportunity. We have only two criteria for promoting third-party applications at TriMet.org. They must use our resources to discourage screen scraping, and they must work as they say they're advertised. One of the first initiatives that President Obama introduced was an open government initiative. This resulted in data.gov, a resource for software developers and a house for applications and open source software. This movement has spread to many cities, states, and countries, bringing benefits to the public. An example of this is the city of Portland. Our mayor, Sam Adams, passed a city resolution that increases transparency in government and supports open data and open source software. Um, the city worked with other transit agencies to launch Civic Apps, a common repository for open data um, and um, applications. 
What's unique about this site, though, is it encourages the general public to submit, application, to submit ideas for useful applications and to encourage the interest in the development of these applications. So today you've all heard about the benefits of open source software, and I would like to share with you an example that illustrates these benefits. For background at TriMet, we intentionally search for open source software alternatives when looking for all software solutions. We compare open source with proprietary software side by side to find the best option that meets our requirements. It's important to realize that not all open source software is the same, just like proprietary, and although the code may be free, there are costs of implementation and support associated with both. It's important to research your risks and alternatives and advantages, such as the license, the strength of the developer community, and support options that are available. We don't always select the open source software alternative, but when but we are conscientious um, to explore these alternatives as there are many benefits above proprietary, which I will demonstrate. In transit trip planning, using multiple modes to get to your destination can be very beneficial. The problem was Google Maps only plans trips by single modes. You can only plan a transit trip or a walking trip or a... Um, vehicle trip driving instructions. Um, there, excuse me. Um, the problem was, though, also Google Transit couldn't do it, and there were a few proprietary solutions that are available on the market, but they were too cost prohibitive for most U.S. transit agencies. So TriMet decided to develop an open source software solution that can be implemented by any transit agency, not just TriMet. That was very important to us. We were awarded a small grant to get to initiate the project between 2009 and 2011. We partnered with Open Plans, a nonprofit that specializes in the development and support of open source software, such as GeoServer, OpenLayers, and PostGIS. We also included several individuals that had developed some aspect of a multimodal trip planner. So in essence, we started development with a small core group of developers, and the community um, grew very, very quickly. So opentripplanner.org um, at GitHub houses all of the info about the project, and it's a vehicle for communications um, for the developers and the users of the application. Open Trip Planner also uses all open data. Um, it uses a free elevation data set, transit data in the GTFS format, and OpenStreetMap, which is a worldwide seamless base map that supports multimodal routing. And what it does is it takes all three of these data sets and um, it creates um, a very intelligent um, network graph um, for trip planning. Um, to support the project, we hired students to improve op the OpenStreetMap base map in our area using government data as a, as a reference. Working with the OS OpenStreetMap community has been really great. And we put our resources into a product that the public also has access to. Um, there are many eyes on the code. There are many eyes on the data in OpenStreetMap. Um, and this is similar to the advantages that you find with open source software, having many eyes on the code. So in summary, we realized significant cost benefits by using open data instead of commercial data. Um, this has facilitated wide adoption. Today, Open Trip Planner has been deployed in over 12 countries, and it has been translated into 14 languages. Also of great importance are the software support options for this application. TriMet officially launched this year 
and the new trip planner is capable of planning multimodal trips, which has proven to provide unexpected benefits, such as saving travel times. Um, the new features include um, being able to plan a bicycle trip, um, walking trip, or bike to transit, walk to transit. Um, we also include a what we call a bike triangle. It allows you to plan the quickest trip um, on your bike, the flattest trip using the elevation data, or the most bike-friendly trip, which uses trails and um, bike facilities. Um, it plans a safer trip, in essence. We also have an elevation chart. Um, we've also added um, car sharing um, locations, so you can plan trips to car share, such as um, um, zip cars. And there's better walking instructions because of all the data and improvements that we made to the base map and open street map. So I believe I have time. I'd like to share with you um, some of the screen captures so you get an idea of what the application does. But here's an example of um, it planning. We also have aerial photography in addition to um, just the street um, layer. And when you click on one of the um, car sharing locations, it pulls up information about that vehicle and allows you to easily plan um, transit trips or bicycle trips um, to these vehicles. We also have real-time vehicle locations on the map um, due to the GPS on board all of our buses. Um, it shows you where they are and um, um, gives you information on the the status of it. Now the whole idea um, behind this application was to create a transit trip planner but also to provide easy um, access to information um, so that customers can make very informed decisions. And again the whole idea was to bring as much information as possible into one location. Um, here you see um, Google Street View. If you click on um, a stop or um, an itinerary, um, it quickly pulls up um, Google Street View so you can see the surrounding areas. We also have um, amenities that are listed um, at all of the stops, which are pulled directly from our database. Now here's an example of bicycle trip planning, um, bike-friendly trips. Um, it's showing you how to get from point A to point B and on the triangle, you select bike-friendly trips. And you'll see if you choose a quickest um, trip um, on the bicycle trip planner, it's going to route you a different way and get you there faster. Um, here's an example of one of the advantages of the multimodal trip planner. Um, in this instance, we're planning a trip from um, one city hall to another, from Beaverton City Hall to Hillsborough City Hall. And if you plan just transit only, you get there in 51 minutes. If you plan transit to bike trip planning, it reduces the time to 36 minutes because the algorithm is very smart. It will go out and find the most efficient um, stop for you to bike to to get to your destination um, the fastest. And just some examples of contributions from the developer community. They come in all the time. Most recently, um, a developer um, submitted code that allows you to plan trips um, with detailed elevator information. So this is planning a trip to our zoo, and there's an elevator. Um, and it, the instructions, detailed instructions, actually tell you um, to take the elevator to level one and to get off. So this is also a good example of using open data and the open street map because we were able to go into the, the data set and add in this information um, so that the software can take advantage of it. So um, I hope I have adequately demonstrated the power of open data, um, collaboration, and open source software. Thank you. Merci. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.